Alright, here's the beginning of this video. You guys want to know how to start or run a server, per se, in Quake 3 Arena. So, anyways, here's the version switch. 116 to 132. You could run servers and mods between 116 and 132. The game isn't just limited to the mandatory point release of 132. I don't know if this is set up yet, so I haven't done it yet. But I'll just show you what it looks like. See, you can select between all these and you'll get different servers. So we're just going to stick with 132 for now. I didn't know there was 131. Alright, set and launch. This isn't mandated. This doesn't come with Quake 3 Arena. You download it separately. And that's the name. OFX Q3 version switch. And I don't know if that website's still up. So you're going to go to multiplayer. You're going to create your server, you're going to create the type, you want a deathmatch, you want a tournament, capture the flag. So I'm going for free for all. I'm just going to go app, add a uh, bot in there. You know what? No. I'm not going to do a bot. Punk Buster, I keep disabled because antivirus does never likes it. I'm dedicated. I should know the answer to this. I'm going to keep it unknown. Here's pure server on, which I mean it should just run the dialog. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put one in here anyways. Ranger. Fight. Alright, so I have a bot in this game. This isn't helping you guys. So I'm assuming pure server's got to be on. You guys are learning with me. I haven't done this in quite some time. It's nice to run it off of a, a website. You can click in from there. So we'll do this again. Same steps. Multiplayer. Create. Next. Dedicated internet. Server on. That's your host name. I just call it your server. That's what they're going to see in the list when they go to multiplayer. The search for servers. I'm just looking here. Just give me a moment. The flight part is thrown me off. There we go. Now console is running you can pretty much walk away I didn't add any bots or anything like that and as people enter you're gonna start seeing the information you're gonna see their name when they get killed how they get killed so on and so forth now it's officially running now in general you know you're gonna get your IP obviously you know what that is I think that's my internal one so it doesn't apply, but the port number is still the same. You also got to open it on your router. You have to put Quake 3 Arena in your router and put that port in there, 27950. So from an outside perspective, if you're on another computer off your network, that is, even if not, people coming in are going to see this when they come into multiplayer. Now I'm not going to sit here and look and wait for these to load to find one called your server or I could do that. Imagine the ping to be fairly low so I'm going to look anyways. I right, we're close enough. 350, 60. It's probably not on the list yet but it's pinging the master server ID software. No name, those people that first started their servers without much thought. Okay, we're not in here, but that's not a problem. So, what you're going to do is, or I'm going to do is, because I'm on a local network, you're normally going to be in that previous list, but this is how it's going to go down. There's no bots in here, unfortunately. Other people are going to walk in. If you added bots or not, 
and that's your server simple as that now you see these weapons here that's an add-on and I'll put the link below so that's how you run operate and start a Quake 3 Arena server so don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to add some more content to this channel plus monetization is going away for people who do not have a certain amount of subscribers so I really much appreciate it that's running I'm gonna quit that you already seen that I came in you've seen the weapons well, how much ammunition I did or did not have what, weapon, what weapons are available that's what you're gonna see in the console and you can let it run in the background that's how you do it now what you want to do there is once you have your IP information and you get your server set up the way you want go to GameTracker.com I haven't navigated this in a while I'm pretty sure you got yes, you have to sign up for this it's free of course and whenever Game Tracker gets around transferring their lame ass data I can show you what I'm trying to do here there you go so basically what you're going to do is username, sign up, and all this crap. And then you're going to go in, and you're going to find your game, which would be Quake 3 Arena. You're going to put your IP and your other information in there, and as your map rotates, it's going to actually show the map of the game. So I'm not signed in right now. So let's see, servers, there's 126,000 right now for various games. So I'm going to try to give you an idea of what you're looking at in the end. And anybody. Can see these. All right, so here is Quake Two, Tasty Spleen. I can do this by uh, Quake Three. Go. People are signing and getting to see this much easier. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to come in here and they're going to see your server which also you can add to a ping later I'll get into that another time but they already do it for you it's going to show up in ID software so forget I just said that so it's going to show your IP the map currently and I'm going to click on this and I think it shows the actual map itself as it rotates and it shows how many players are in there sometime today would be nice So you can advertise through here, or you can just let it run and let somebody find you. Now with the version switches, 116 to 132, I am not actually aware if that's even shown on here, which it is not. That's fine, it doesn't make a difference, because it'll tell what version they need when they try to enter your server. That's from the game track review. But anyways, let's go back a little bit here and I'll just give you guys a little more information. This is what it'll look like. And the picture of the map is up here. I'm trying to think of something here. Okay, let me show you the version switch in action. I'm going to have to shut down this console here. So I'm going to quit that. This is how your version switch works. Have you noticed before there's 400 players? So we're going to hit it and we're going to go to 116, the lowest one. A lot of the mods that are out are made for 116. Some of them are a little higher. And there's some of them that will run in 132, but not all of them. This is why it's also important to check out the other versions. And I'm going to bring you to the multiplayer version. That made no sense. Section, excuse me. So here you are. It's empty. There's one local. You get spacebar to stop it. Yeah, internet. Come on. There you go. 99 servers. Now it changes. Sometimes it's 150, 200 on each one. And you can click in and go in. So this, you can't do Dreamcast. 
Let's go to this one here, No Ghost. Very excellent mod, by the way. Next to, I uh, can't think of the other one at the moment, BMA. Badass, badass. Download that. BMA mod and No Ghost mod. And you can modify your server, check it out, and put the additions in. And anybody who comes in does not need the mod, by the way. So No Ghost, depending on how they set it up, it can be pretty fast, it can be lame. This is what people are going to experience once you set up your server. And the information up here is what you're going to put into the inside of it, the server files. So he called it Alexa FA, and his statement was, "Don't be a cunt." And there's his IP his or hers IP on the top. And they use a different port for some reason. Okay, I hope that's enough for everybody right now. I hope I answered some questions, didn't confuse anybody. It's just that I have a lot to do today. A very short timeline of like 40 minutes to get two things done so uh, please uh, like the video subscribe if you have any questions comments go ahead right below so 11 minutes is not too bad to cover these grounds now I'm trying to see what's in the extras folder here because I don't have this download for you guys yet okay it's something that comes with the CD excuse me that's a remake that I'm testing right now. I, I'm having issues with it at the moment. No Ghost has already put their folder in there. And that concludes this video, so don't forget to subscribe. Definitely hit a like and comments and questions below. And if there's anything I, you need to know, ask. Have yourself a good day.